Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and your daily Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine update. Um, if you do like this video, as always, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow and let's get into the reading. So in today's reading, we have an end to toil and labor. Someone's struggles and hardships are slowly coming to an end is what it feels like. Um, and this all started with this situation where basically a group of people a group of karmic people in some situation um basically prevented a masculine from being able to move forward so um it's right here there's something about um him wanting to move forward towards um another person another relationship um it's also about him wanting to end some sort of work situation or work partnership right here like he wanted to put an end to this work partnership um but these people were very persistent on making sure that didn't happen they were very these people are involved in a lot of drama and gossip and this group of people wanted him to stay in this situation um they didn't want him to communicate with a divine with a divine feminine. Um, they were preventing communication in some way. It's something about them not wanting him to share his like finances or resources with this divine feminine. Like they really didn't want him communicating with her. Um, for some reason, like they didn't want him moving away or traveling towards this divine feminine. They didn't want him to share some of his success with her. It's like they wanted him for themselves they wanted him stuck in this partnership they wanted him to continue working hard for them making them money or doing whatever he was doing for them meanwhile he's like now in this situation after something has gone down something's happened he's like look what you did like look at what you did like do you see how what how wrong this is like whatever you're doing like he's trying to point out to them what they've done and um how they've been trying to prevent him from literally being able to move forward and so He's like, I can't believe you did that. He could be talking to someone in a workplace. Like I said, this is something about a workplace situation. Someone got injured in some way. Um, and this is about talking to a sister. This could be a, like a family member, like a family in the work situation. Um, and like a feminine energy. You know, when I talk about like sister or something, usually it means they're just a sister to someone. So someone's sister um, is who he's talking to and saying, I can't believe you did that. And this person could also have an STD, this sister. Um, they could also have an STD or something that just keeps coming out. Um, and this masculine is also saying, I think we should see other people. So if they are romantically involved as well, like that is finished. He's not continuing that anymore. And there's something about him leaving on a bus or train at some point, like he's letting go of these people. Um, see like i have a feeling we won't last like he's he's letting go of the situation um in this group of people but um again as we've been seeing there is a court situation involved there's something to do with the courthouse this has come out in every reading um so he is currently being patient in a situation and but he is determined he is very determined to be successful and to receive justice like he wants justice in this situation for what was done wrong to him and um this can also have to do with his health as well. Um, this person looks like they're finding balance again in their health. So there could be something, um, you know, that he's healing from now, he's finding balance in, but um, in the process, he's also going through some sort of, um, you know, judical process. He's waiting for justice in something as well. He's being patient as well as healing and finding balance in some sort of situation with his people. And, um, yeah, basically, these people now, he's going to leave them out in the cold. That's going to be their karma. karma. Like, he's going to leave them behind, ultimately. Um, that is his goal in this situation, and that is what's going to be happening. Um, so, moving forward here, um, we also have up here a... Where is it? Like a um, divine feminine here. This is you. Um, so you're sitting in this mode of kind of expectation, yin energy, very divine feminine energy. You're waiting on this masculine energy to make a move towards you. You're waiting on truth. You're waiting on something to manifest that you've been waiting for for quite a while. And you're feeling like you really just want the truth in a situation and you want healing between you and this divine masculine. 
um, there's, this is your wish as well. Something you've been wishing for is going to be manifesting soon. You're expecting something you've been wishing for to manifest very soon. Um, so yeah, you're just sitting in your energy, you know, waiting on this and, um, you could be kind of carefree, feeling good, or this is how this divine masculine is looking at you. He's looking at you as someone who's working hard on their finances or career. Um, yeah, he sees you as like a happy person. Like <laughs> he just feels like you have your life together and he looks up to you. And he's over here as this official person. Um, right now his focus is on getting revenge um, in a situation that's his desire right now. His desire is to also level up. He's been working very hard. He's an, he's coming up as an official person. So he could have a job where he wears a uniform or just um, be seen in a very high light for many people. Like a lot of people could look up to him. Um, he could have a job in the military or a job requiring him to wear a suit, like something like higher up. Like he just has this attitude of being very much like I don't know like a very put together person or something or maybe that's who he's become now if he wasn't this person in the past but um something is very close to happening between you two um yeah I feel like you've been waiting on him to come towards you and wondering what's going on but he's getting ready to take a leap of faith very soon these two cards literally came out together one week and arrival so for some of you something could be happening or significant in one week um, someone could be coming to visit you within a week or, you know, somewhere in that time frame. Remember, timing is not always perfect in tarot, but like one week, two weeks, somewhere around there maybe. And um, I covered up this card, but it says watching a lot of porn um, and toys, something about toys. So um, I definitely feel like he's thinking about you in a very um, <laughs> maybe devilish way as well a little bit. Um, but he has good intentions as well, but definitely there's that sexual energy coming out again in this reading. Um, and he says, I'm sorry I ghosted you as well. So that's there. And yes, in regards to this um, situation here, someone is going to be getting karma and someone's going to be winning money. And we see this is this official person here winning some sort of money in this situation. Um getting lucky somehow like there's something gonna work out in his favor and he's going to be receiving some sort of um high honor some sort of um you know money for something it might come from this court situation it could also come from something else maybe he like wins something um wins uh maybe even like at the lottery or something there's just something where he's going to get a lot of money suddenly and i don't know quite where it's coming from but it definitely could be from a court case um and him receiving high honor here like he is very much looked up to by people he's receiving very much like a bunch of recognition for whatever he's been through for all the work that he's put into something he's receiving honor for high honor so like this could be money for the effort he's put into some sort of work situation or something as well um and then we also have a false person here so this is the person that is going to be getting um you know receiving some sort of consequences or something for their actions this person seems like someone who could have been like very they could have been younger um very immature um they're waiting on their judgment so whatever this court case is bringing that's what this person is currently waiting on um but yes a very like young energy a little immature like childish and this person could be a teacher or a boss so if they're a teacher or a boss like they could be maybe someone's boss at the workplace. I like since we like were seeing another reading something about family, I almost feel like maybe this person is younger but got put in a higher position because of like family members or something. Like maybe they were made a boss in a business wrongfully, like they didn't actually have the skills to be a boss, but they ended up in that position and like misused their power basically that could be the case or this person could be you know going to school to become a teacher or something like they could be in school right now to become a teacher something like that is what I'm feeling there um and then we also have someone here in bad health right now and I feel like um like I couldn't tell exactly who this was I do think it is potentially divine masculine though because I was clarifying it and we have a father a wealthy man a traveler and someone from your past so that's who this person is and i feel like um whatever it is he's healing from it so um i think this relates back to whatever went down um 
with these karmic people um he's healing from it now and it says up here sad emotional you know more than one family is involved in this situation this could be multiple families maybe this divine masculine's family is getting involved now because of what happened um careless behavior getting surgery a couple days heal okay so i feel like someone's going to be okay they're going to get whatever they need um to heal but like currently they might not be doing the greatest but they're about to be doing a whole lot better very soon i feel like this is something that this person can heal from if it is a physical injury um it also says nobody cares but then it also says i'm here so i feel like this person feels like maybe these people don't care about him but maybe he has like family or something that's now coming to visit to him or like be with him or he's just thinking of you divine feminine and he knows that someone is there for him even if he feels like these people don't care about him so that's what i'm seeing for that um and then we also have courthouse right here so this is what's going on in the courthouse right now um there's something some sort of um, decision that is being waited on and up here we get a little bit more information about what's going on so we have lies about you this won't stop me showing someone your text messages so this could be like in court they're going over all the evidence um, hearing about you from other people, this could be, you know, people talking on the stand about what's happened, good things come to those who wait, so definitely there's a decision that, um, I believe this masculine is waiting on, or his family is waiting on as well, um, and then we have February happening very fast, so something is happening, I feel like this, um, court situation might be getting sorted out in February, though remember timing can be different for everyone, but it's happening very fast. Um, there's something about abuse that went on. So again, this could be abuse in a workplace, but I also feel like it could have to do with a physical altercation, um, verbal abuse, multiple things. And then we have a disagreement and crafting a plan. So I feel like this masculine gathered all the evidence he needed. I feel like he knows what he's doing in this courthouse situation. Like we saw, he's very determined. He's trying to find balance. I don't think that there's anything to worry about here. I feel like he knows exactly what he's doing and he's confident that he's going to be successful as we've seen. And then we have the most exciting part here. Um, so we have marriage and this is a love offer coming towards you. There's communication on its way and it's in regards to, you know, it could be a home. Someone's talking to you about a home. Um, this could be about definitely marriage as we just saw this card also represents marriage twin flames a really stable connection celebrations all good things basically is what this card talks about it can also be like a reunion between family members um coming home yeah so many good things someone could be moving as well it's definitely could do with the home um and we have up here fast and <laughs> what should I say and engagement. So he could be thinking about what to say to you right now, how to approach you right now. He's thinking about this while this court case is going on, while he's healing from whatever he's been through. We also again have the sexual <laughs> energy coming out, a little bit of a sneaky vibe. Maybe he's doing something behind the scenes. He knows that you don't know this is coming and he wants to surprise you. Um, we also have living with a family member. Um, so he could think be thinking about with this card here, um, moving in with you, um, having a home together, potentially. We also have um, giving the same energy you give and I didn't take the connection between us seriously. So this could be before and now he wants to um, provide you the same, you know, energy that you've been putting in. So he, if he wasn't fully there before and he wasn't really committing to this now he wants to do that he wants to commit so um yeah if you like vibe with this energy or this means something to you like definitely go back and watch the last reading that i just did because we just talked about um a masculine that was sort of a player and is now wanting something serious um we also have stress and watching i feel like he's been watching you he's been thinking about you he's been stressed out about how he's gonna like come forward towards you um and i also think that he's been watching you grow and like watching how you behave and your actions like if you run a business as well or a very like logical intellectual woman and um he's seeing your growth like he's seeing how you've been growing um if you have something like um online like an online platform or online business he might be watching how that's been growing and be impressed by you um definitely I think he's just in, impressed with your logic and impressed by how you handle yourself 
and he's looking at you as like someone who could be a mother figure eventually like he's looking at you obviously as marriage material is what I feel so even if this isn't a direct marriage proposal I feel like ultimately he looks at you as someone that could be worth like getting married to like someone he could see himself marrying one day because of the person you are um and we have I'm shocked by what I saw on your social media so again he's watching you he's looking at what you're posting and um just keeping tabs on what you're up to and it says all I think about you is you and we have Facebook an event on a weekend so um he could end up you know this could be him watching your Facebook, uh, looking at your Facebook, or you could receive a message eventually over Facebook. Um, you guys could end up doing something on the weekend. He could invite you out on a date or something or plan something for you guys. But yeah, um, very exciting. There's definitely, I think some of, for some of you, like definitely there could be a marriage coming up. Like this masculine is so changed. He's so different from everything that he's been through. And I feel like this was all part of the process going through this whole situation. So yeah, that is our, I guess, daily update on the wild situation that we've been following along with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Bye.